Now, I have done a lot of outreach events for the general public for the last 10 to even 15 years, from doing boardwalk events, from going over towards NASA Wallops Island, and I get one single question out of anything is, what is a good beginner telescope? What should I get? Well, there is a lot of different varieties of telescopes out there on the market, and it's kind of hard to really narrow down what would actually fit for you. So I didn't really have a good idea of what to suggest to people. Until now, I want to introduce to you the SV Boney SV520 Refractor Telescope. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I think a refractor telescope is one of the best beginner telescopes for all ages from, you know, a small child to a middle schooler, high schooler, even an adult. A refractor telescope is very easy to use because there's very little maintenance that you need to use. Unlike reflecting telescopes where you have to have a line mirrors, got to make sure you're in collimation and you have to kind of deal with some other factors as well. This refractive telescope from SV Bunny actually offers a lot of wonderful accessories to be included with your entire package at a nice fair price as well. Much better than those cheap, you know, 15 to 20 dollar department store Walmart telescopes that you would find that that just don't really have any good views. Everything just looks really muddy and they just fall apart. This version of the SV Bunny has a lot of wonderful things that come with it. So let's go ahead and dive in of what you can expect from this SV Bunny SV520. Now with the SV Boney SV520, here's a little bit of some technical information for you to get an understanding of your brand new telescope. So first we'll feature this wonderful 90 millimeter objective lens at a focal ratio of f8.9, which will give you about 800 millimeters of focal length Great for viewing for planets, lunar observations, and even some deep sky targets. Over towards the back, we have a rack and pinion focuser, very typical for refractor telescopes, but very much ease. And there's actually quite a bit of some back focus you can have with this telescope as well. That's one thing that really surprised me. And to make things so much easier, we do have a SV Boney Alt Azimuth mount, which mounts directly on top of this aluminum tripod, which is great for your up and down, left and right movements to easily maneuver your telescope around the night sky. And then when you need to focus in a little bit more and do some minor adjustments, there is both adjustments knobs that you can use for your left to right movement and for up and down while you're viewing inside of the eyepiece. And of course, you need something to guide you along the way, featuring this finder scope, which has a really nice visible crosshair in the center of it so you can help locate your targets and point your telescope in the right direction. Now with every telescope, you gotta have some eyepieces, right? Included is a 25 millimeter wide field Palosso eyepiece, which gives you a magnification of roughly at about 32 times, which gives you a great field of view for this refractor, but sometimes you need a little bit more power. Also included is a 10 millimeter Palosso eyepiece to get up nice and close to your targets, especially really nice for planetary and lunar views. And then of course, if you really want to boost up the power, there is a two times Barlow lens where you can use in conjunction with your other eyepieces to get two times the magnification per eyepiece to really start getting in super close to your objects. And what else is actually really cool too, included with this set is an adapter that you can hook up your smartphone right to the eyepiece with this very handy adapter where you can take photos through your telescope lens, especially super nice for those planetary and lunar views you want to capture and share with your friends and family. 
Also, you will be included a moon filter, which is very helpful, especially for how bright the moon is, to be able to get a little bit more better contrast for your overall views. This also can work for your planetary viewing as well, just to give a little bit more contrast to what you're viewing. And then, as well, we are looking at a wireless Bluetooth adapter where you, you can hook up to your phone so you can remotely take photos either with your iPhone or your Android smartphone. Now the wonderful thing about this with this alt azimuth mount, you can maneuver this very easily. In fact, I'm always only using one finger to move up and down, left and right, and it is super versatile and it's nice and smooth, unlike many other tripods I have worked with in the past. Now inside of the box, you are set with three different boxes with accessories, the telescope itself, and the mount, and you're also greeted with the user manual. Now, putting this telescope together was a breeze, as a matter of fact, because of the very easy to use instructions. Only took me about 15 to 20 minutes to fully set it up from the box to a fully functional telescope because everything was pretty user friendly and pretty much anyone can really do this as well. Now, bringing it all back to me, to my younger years, the night sky test underneath the stars, and it really felt like I was back in my elementary school days with my little telescope outside, checking out some views of the moon and looking at the planet Jupiter. Now, there was a little bit of some clouds out there, but that did not ruin any of my views as I was trying a little bit of some astrophotography wise with the included adapter and I wanted to take some photos of the planet Jupiter and it made it very easy even though the wind was uh, quite strong during the nighttime hours I ended up with a not so bad image just taken from a smartphone and from this telescope in itself and with the image here you can see we have the entire disk of Jupiter and you can even see a little bit of the banding along the surface of the planet. Wow, that's really cool, isn't it? What's also super helpful as well, if you might have noticed on the front of the telescope, we do have another phone mount, but this time you can use this to use your favorite star atlas like Stellarium where you can help point your telescope around the night sky if you're not too familiar with what is out there across the cosmos. And this also helped for me to find exactly where Messier 42, the Great Orion Nebula, and I took this really quick one second exposure of the nebula in itself, and it actually looked very nice inside of the eyepiece. So, what are my overall thoughts when it comes to the SV Bunny SV520? Well, it brought up a lot of like young memories for me. I wish I had something like this when I first started off when I was in elementary school as a young lad. And this has proved to be, you know, quite fun when I was doing the testing outside, you know, just looking for some, you know, bright stars. Tried to get some globular clusters in, check out the Orion Nebula, checking out views of Saturn and the views of Jupiter. And it definitely brought back so many, you know, wonderful memories in this hobby. And that's what it's all about, too. Having something that you know that you can have fun with and it won't seem like it is a piece of junk was this is far from that. I definitely wish, you know, years ago we had something like this, too. And I have used those department store telescopes that were like 10 to 20 dollars back then that you would find at Walmart or one of those like gift shops from like, you know, the museum or something like that. And they were not good whatsoever. So if you're looking to, you know, get into the hobby, you know, a great present for, you know, your son or daughter or even, you know, anyone of all user levels, 
this is a great tool right here. And for the price point, it's not too terribly bad either, especially when you have multiple places to, you know, find where to purchase this, which I will leave some links down in the description for where to purchase the SV Bunny SV520. Highly recommend, you know, finally something that I can actually gravitate towards for people that ask me, what is a great beginner telescope? Well, right here, you can't go wrong with a refractor whatsoever. And a decent aperture one at that too, at 90 millimeters, you got this super easy to use all azimuth mount with these fine controls here, so you can really center up your target. And the best thing as well as it's light, it's very portable, so even someone of younger age can easily maneuver this around. And I'm just using just one hand on this and even darn like you know the wind it's still a pretty stable tripod whatsoever made of metal not cheap plastic whatsoever and you get some great accessories along with that too so i hope this video helped you decide on you know this might be a great option for you to start off with as a beginner you can always leave a comment like subscribe I will answer all the questions that I can down in the comment section here. And as always, clear skies. Thank you to SV Boney for sending me this to test out so I could finally really, you know, get a good idea for people as regards to a first telescope to use. And clear skies. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.